Okay, you're rolling. <laughs> What's up, guys? Sean, Caleb, and Ben here from SRK Cycles and Bikes and Beards. You just a vape nation? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Get rid of that vape nation. Right, no nation. more vape nation. What? And uh, we are doing the first ever, maybe you've done this video before, I don't know, um, Q&A. Question and answer. Uh, we've had some, oh shoot, should we, should we, should we have microphones? We don't nah, have three like, microphones. We don't even have so. three microphones. We have good two. We can put a mic back there. Hey, I always use Microphone's good enough. It's all about um, the thumbnail. It's all about the thumbnail. Yeah, it's all about the thumbnail. <laughs> Content it's a bro. sweet thumbnail of so, someone else. So, uh, I posted a thing on the Patreon page yesterday asking um, what their question, what their cues were, and we were going to give them the A's. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys don't have the cues. Don't have the cues. <laughs> So, what are the questions, <laughs> ma'am? First question, what beard oil or balm do you like? Ooh. Caleb's the expert in this. I like the stuff we have in the bathroom. Yeah, like that handmade stuff? We got this stuff in the bathroom. Should we go get it now? From the customer? Yeah, from one of our customers. Yeah, it's okay. called like Beard Butter. Yeah, you can find it on eBay. It's like a small little mom and pop place down in Philly. And I, I, I put it in my beard. Feels super yeah. soft. I mean, like, Sean very rarely uses product, so if Sean uses product, then it's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, so I'm not the best person to say, like, I, I can't compare things. Right. I like it or I don't, but I've only tried a few times. But it's also, too, you could say that it actually is one product that you actually enjoy using. So if you're kind of, if you're super picky with your products, like with smells and stuff like that, then that's probably where you want to go. I actually like the Dollar Beer Club stuff. I don't mind it. I think it's yeah. cheap. I think it's good stuff. I use your Dollar Beer Club oil. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I have and I have the Mountaineer. I have Mountaineer that the beer bottle that smells like pine. Yeah. I really like that. It's like it's called West Virginia Pine Tar. To be honest with you, some of the best stuff I've ever used, and it doesn't really smell like anything, is the Amish Amish. Yeah, we have some out of the bathroom. Yeah, too. it just the it doesn't bottle. really smell like much, but it, it just it softens your beard so much. It is nice. So yeah, that was that. If that answers any questions, don't go with something that has way too much scent. Yeah, if it smells like Abercrombie, it's no good. Yeah, I have tried beard oils that smell like cologne, and it makes you want to throw up halfway through. If it that. smells like your thirteen-year-old sister. Yeah, <laughs> or your thirteen-year-old sister's boyfriend, <laughs> and the stuff he rubs on his abs, then you probably <laughs> don't want to use that on your freaking. Face. You, you kind of gotta wonder who are you trying to attract with. Right, this? right. I'm trying to attract deer. I yeah, I would say <laughs> if anything says like woodland or pine or like those. any those type of like I earthy like. scent, you really can't go wrong when it's like. Citrus infusion, probably stay away from something like that. That's just or, my personal. Or part. like pomegranate. Yeah. It's no good. I mean, I think, I think you know. Sean might get into that, but yeah. Not yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the balm. He likes the balm. Yeah, I like the balm. The balm right. doesn't smell like much. Next question. Next cue. <laughs> Ever thought of opening a second location, possibly on the west coast, like California? Uh, I have thought about sending Lindsay <laughs> away. <laughs> to if you want to send me to California, I will go. <laughs> I was like, I, you know, it's pretty far away. She, just, so. she would just call me like, so uh, I <laughs> What's the next? No, well, kind of, kind of because of, we, we have thought about, do we have satellite locations or do we all have one basic central location and we get really good at shipping? So we've yeah. kind of focused our energy on that. And we're getting pretty good at shipping, so we can we can get something to California pretty easily. And with, with, with the videos and that stuff, I don't know if two locations really makes any sense. Satellite. And, sorry, I'm not to cut you no, off. No, you're good. You're good. Satellite just makes no sense. Because, like, it would be like, because you could be in California right next to our shop, but if what you want on our inventory is still in PA. But like, the, the, only, the only time it would make sense is if you, if it just makes sense with more walking. Right, and we're which, not, yeah, Which right. is kind of the difference. We do sell a lot of local stuff. But we sell our 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 plan, our business plan right. is to go more non-local right. and to ship all over. The, the only country. benefit I think for us with a satellite would be if we had dedicated shipping. We right. could move stuff from dealership to dealership, like one location to another, because right. then faster it could be from California to somewhere on the West Coast. Right. I mean, if we had our own sh like logistics coordinator with like our own huge truck, right? Maybe then it would make sense. And if like. All of our locations were kind of like a Cabela's. They were like destination locations for walk-ins. That might make sense, but, but for an online dealership... That's not our model. Right, it's not our model. So for an online dealership... Our model is we have a warehouse and we ship out our warehouse. Right. right. If I can get bikes to California in two weeks, why would I pay for a brick and mortar store? Right, for, for like 500 bucks. <laughs> right. So, next cue. 
How many people work at SRK and who does what at the shop? All right, should we show pictures of these people? <laughs> um, well, we're like almost all right here. Yeah. Except yeah. me. Except for most me. of us are all right here. Um, although we do have Terry Lynn. Terry Lynn. Yep. And master, master bookkeeper. Yeah. Extraordinary. So yeah. we can okay. start. Should we start from the from like the part time? Okay. Yeah. So I am Sean, and. I, I I pretty much I do most of the videos, so most of the test drives are me. Uh, most of the moto vlogs are me, and I kind of I like to think I oversee and strategize the big the big picture stuff. I'd say that's what I do. Um, I'm Caleb, and Fake Nation. Maybe throw it up, throw it up, anyone. And I've been sober for now. Just <laughs> I uh, three minutes. <laughs> Um, I do all of like the, well, I do most of the dealership stuff. So bikes getting sold and titles and shipping and pricing and all that jazz goes through me. So if you're really ticked off about something, you know who to talk to. <laughs> uh, that's basically what I do. It's very easy. You should put his phone number on the screen. Right here. <laughs> just call if you're number. super angry, call him. <laughs> Here's your number. Uh, and I'm Ben, and I don't know, what's my title? What is my title? What do you I make do? your own title. Marketing manager, aren't you? Yeah, that's right, I'm marketing manager. Right. I'm marketing manager, so I'm doing a lot of stuff with uh, with email marketing, getting our, trying to get a blog up and running, and we're working on putting all of our content that like is not dealership related and putting it in one place. That's probably my main goal. Outside of that, like I'm picking up bikes, um, Run errands for Caleb because that's what he wants me to do. He just, he just puts it in my little trail board. Hey, go run errands for me. I don't feel like doing it. So I do that too sometimes. Um, I think a little sub subheading for my category is making sure Lindsay is made fun of as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, and that happens. <laughs> she's so upset. I know. She's, she's in the background loving it, loving it right now. I'm just, yeah. I'm right. Lindsay and I do everything that nobody else wants to do. <laughs> That's pretty much a summary of my job. It's a good title. I, I should have been like, like <laughs> <laughs> You're going to edit this video, right? <laughs> yes, I it's am. It's going to be all clipped together nice. Thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> and then we forgot, we can't forget about Terry Lynn. Yep. She makes our lives complete. Yeah, Terry Lynn does her bug. She kills it. Uh, You'll probably never see Terry Lynn. She's, 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 been she's in, in the one video. The, she's been in some of the videos. She kind of pops in every once in a while. Um, if you bought a bike from us a year ago and have no idea where any of your money went, that's because Sean was running the books. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're good. That was legit. <laughs> and then we also have Tim. Tim's gone for like yeah. half the year. And Tim was doing most of the uh, logistics. So picking up bikes and dropping off bikes. The shipping and stuff like that. So... That's that's about it. Next uh, next question. Do you outsource maintenance issues on bikes you get in, or can you handle things in house? We almost outsource ninety nine percent of stuff, even if, like really small stuff. Yeah. We outsource like I'm very. We don't do maintenance. We don't I do. Mean, that's, we, a, that's, we, a, that's a that's a blank. The thing. things that we do where we change batteries, I uh, change handlebars once. Right. Um, um, you can occasionally. If we can do it really quick. We'll do it ourselves, or if we have to. But we have a good shop that we work with. We have a really good shop. For most stuff, send it out to our shop. If it's a Harley Davidson, we either send it out to, to Harley Davidson or a guy that does that only works on Harleys. He's a master tag. Uh, yeah, he was a master tag. So. Right. But I mean, we've all worked on our own bikes, so we know we have an idea of what we're doing. But just for time, um, for, our, t for time and expertise. Our, our time is better spent not working on right. a bike. Send it to a guy who's been doing it for his whole life and get it, can get it done way faster than what That's we can what he do. does. Right, and he, he's going to do it a much more professional job. Right. Like, if you're buying a bike from us, you want it done right. So that's kind of what we're really impression of. Okay. Um, how many bikes do you sell in an average month? The average month, we're sending mid to high 20s. Right. Occasionally, we will tip into uh, 30s. That might happen a couple times a year. I think we hit, what, like 35 once? Yeah, we might be at 35 once. We're shooting for um, for this year to sell around 280. Right. 280 bikes for the entire year. We'd love to hit 300 bikes a year. 300 bikes would be a really good goal to hit, to hit next year. And it's very realistic, too. That'd be, a, yeah. that'd be another level for us. 30 bikes a month is really like the, the, a very a very a big goal for us. It's about a bike a day. 
Yeah, like a day. And we're, we're very close to them. We, we, we've done that. And it's very sustainable with, with this amount of people. Right. Yeah. Guys, if you want to see the rest of this interview, check it out on our Bikes and Beards YouTube channel. Hey guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right here. And remember, our prices on the motorcycles do change. So click on the link below to see our current rates and shipping prices. We'll see you guys later.